who is running in the opposite way, in the opposite direction to Casemiro, is Isco Alarcón, whose market price is dropping dramatically and it turned to a point where he's just worth about as little as 15 million euros. I mean, maybe that number is not saying anything to you all, but if you compare that number with the number he used to have four years ago, which was about 90 million euros, you will see, you will understand why this uh, drop in the market price of Isco Alarcón is so dramatic. I mean, Isco Alarcón, when he was signed by Real Madrid seven years ago, he was going to be one of the best players in the world. He was a top class player, I mean, top world class player. And everybody was thinking that he was going to be, he was going to become the natural replacement for players like Iniesta or Xavi Hernandez in FC Barcelona because the feature is the profile of the player was, was pretty much the same. I mean, he was able to do the almost the same things, you know, the same perfect side, the same ideas, the same creativity when it came to uh, create plays and games and stuff like that. So that is why it's so dramatic because this guy, I mean, since the departure of Lopetegui when he became the coach of Real Madrid, he didn't have any luck, man. He struggled all the time with the different coaches, starting with Solari and then Zinedine Zidane. He never recovered and he never bounced back and he didn't recover back his spot in the lineup of Real Madrid and he was never ever again uh, became one of the most important players for Real Madrid. So it's actually one of the players that is completely ruled out for the lineup of Real Madrid for the next season. And let's see if he signs for another team or stay in Real Madrid. But of course, he's not going to be again, ever again, the most valuable player he used to be in the past.